Greetings everybody, I am your host Legendary Neurotoxin and this is Castles and Crap Shacks, Episode 8, Confidence Spires. Hello everybody, how are you doing today? So for the first uh, build that we'll be examining today, it is right here in Confidence Playa, or Playa, because it sounds a lot funnier to call it Confidence Playa. Anyhow. <clears throat> so this is quite a nice build very um, well designed pagoda style not really sure about these uh, stairs here but the exterior is solid I'd wager this is a uh, landmarks of landmark build. Or maybe not because it's two claims tall. But either way, this is a very nice build. Greetings, everybody. Feather, Asphyx, Ice Latte, thank you for joining. So let's look at some of this exterior detail. I'll zoom out a little bit here. The rail going around. Hmm. The lattice work in the windows. These uh, these look really nice here, and they create a. Uh, a really good effect because uh, from the distance you see them as the lights as they are but from below they just kind of look like orbs I'm not entirely sure about being able to see uh, shingles from underneath the roof but um, the use of the stone here is pretty nice and using the roof shingles here does work fairly well. Oh, I see a gap there as well. Hmm. From a distance though, this is a really nice build and they put a lot of really nice detail work into it. Yeah, it gets a thumbs up. Like uh Moving that out of the way. And moving on. Let's see. Not really that much by the spire here, to be perfectly honest. Mm. Is there a doorway? Is there an entrance? Yes. The gears. Oh, probably because it's publishing. Mm. This kind of reeks of crap shack. What else do we have around here? Oh, not that much. Entire island's pretty sparse. Ah, uh, that kind of looks like a crap shack. Uh, mm. So. Who knows something about confidence? What's a good spot to check out here? I believe I actually got a request in my messages, so I'll check real quick. 
see if I can uh, locate it. Well, if it was requested, I can't find a record of it. So, that's fine. I'll be continuing along then. Just picking names at random. Uh, Confidence Beach, that sounds lovely. So, who got wasted on Omid stream yesterday? I only had a couple of brews. I actually had a, a fair bit of brew the night before, so I didn't really need to get into it that much. So, what do we have here? A laboratory. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, I've seen those before. I think. I really like that use of the uh, archway. That uh, kind of uh, gothic looking decoration. I think I've seen these before. Ooh, I like that skull. Fancy. With the glowing eyes and everything. Uh, from the front, it's quite nice. Walls and walls and walls of pips and micro voxels. Thanks for the follow. Classic 8-bit style heart. <laughs> so it's just kind of a uh, an outdoor uh, swap meet depository, it appears. Not really a castle or a crap shack, is it? <laughs> Ah, uh, welcome, Cadaveri. Yeah, Oscask, that's, um... Did I just shoot right by it? I guess so. No, I'm not stuffed up at all. <laughs> I'm just fine. Thank you for the follow. Probably just need to drink a bit more water. Oh well, I've got plenty. Uh, uh, I don't know about this place. It looks like they've got a plan to do something with it, and I certainly hope they do. Hmm. That looks interesting, though. I'm going to head out and check this out. Hey, Ecaterella. <laughs> interesting.
trading company is spa and club, huh? <laughs> I like the middle on the floor there on the way in. There's a little hangout spot, or just kind of a little planter there. Ooh, I really like that light right there. That's a nice little uh, indoor lamp. Hmm. Does it actually have glass? Yep. Nice use of the obsidian pavers there and the uh, burled wood tile. Uh, looks like someone got murdered in there or something. Hmm. Uh, I don't. I think that's unfinished. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a head bonker. I don't know. Maybe some characters can get through. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is quite a nice build. I really like some of the stuff they've done in here. This table using the um, I think that's burled wood uh, trim with an inlay. That's pretty nice. A little uh, ladder kind of stairs there. So does this go any further down? Not for me. At least not right here. Hmm. What a really nice work in progress. Let's see what the rest of it looks like. Ah, the swimming pool. Nice, um... I like the uh, the use of the aquamarine along the uh, kind of walkway here. That's really neat. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a uh, it's like a, a hot tub, and they're using the uh, the glass to try to make it look like there's steam coming off. I think that's kind of neat. They've got their tools under there. Oh, I like these uh, outdoor uh, pool chairs. Hmm. Hmm. Now what do we have here? Uh. Uh. Yeah. So that. Anyway. <laughs> Really, truly nice exterior. A lot of nice stuff going on in the interior here too, but definitely unfinished. <laughs> uh, scaled up, that's a great fireplace. Or like a uh, an outdoor kind of cooking area. Hmm, I like that. That's smart. Nice use of plants there, just a little bit to add some extra decoration and add those um, butterflies you see floating around there. Just little things like that go a long way with the build. I wonder if they've built this specifically for taking a nice picture of it. Oh, 
we're seeing it all from a one shot. I kind of like this spot though. Trading Company's Underground Hub. I'll check that out in a moment. Hmm. Trading Company's Spot and Club. Okie dokie. And while that's doing its thing, what is this underground business? Is it a maze? Or is it just a work in progress? Don't ask. <laughs> do just do not ask what that was. Just no. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, nice. So there's the laboratory. <laughs> oh, I like how they've got these two stations together like that. That's kind of neat. Interesting experimenting going on here. Interesting doorway there. I kind of like that. The glass and the lights. Yeah. Hmm. Fun. I don't know if that's actually supposed to be something or if it's just a sculpture, but it's kind of neat either way. Nice little garden there. the heck that's supposed to be? This it's again, not really sure. Just looks like some pure experimentation going on there. That's a nice couch. That is a really nice couch. At least from this side. I'm sure if they just kind of messed up a little bit more, you get it all nice all the way around. Or they might have already and they've just done that somewhere else. Spiral stairs. Those are some really smooth spiral stairs. Um, a little artifacting there. Uh, 
and a bed with wooden pillows. <laughs> That's right. Ah, Rama is a good one. <laughs> good one. Okay, well that was a really nice place to check out there. What's this thing here? I hope it's some sort of stadium. Asphyx, uh, I will say this, on Friday I was able to get um, one to two out of every sixty bags of um, the the second level of uh, sifters dirt. Um, yesterday I ran through about a hundred forty bags and didn't see a one, so I think they might have nerfed or broken the drop rate. Yeah. It's definitely uh, some sort of house of some sort, or crafting station thing. <laughs> well, I uh, I guess I appreciate their attempt, but yeah, they did something with it. That's totally fine. Can't fault them for it. What's over here? I hope this is a billboard or some sort of cool painting. Thanks, Nightbot. I really need to have Nightbot say something more engaging. No, we saw that spot. Let's check this one of the south here. Okay, so they've used the um the 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 trees from greener biomes here, which is got kind of an odd striking look to it because even if you were able to get a lot of the things right they still wouldn't really do very well I think in a uh, a sandy soil composition and in this kind of dry arid heat um, it would take a lot of effort to do something like this but it um, it looks nice it's kind of striking this big tree here I got a path going up, tree house. Whoops. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Some pillows, some hangout pillows. 
nice windows. Are they glassed over? Looks like it. Either that or I just can't fit through them. Hmm. Barrels. Keeps going up though, it looks like. Yeah. That's cool. Thatch. Really good use of building around the tree like that. That was smart. Well done. Let's see what the um what the inside here looks like. So they've got all the crafting stations, fancy uh, table here, rock with some plants on it. It's down here, nifty garden. Oh, well, fancy. I like it. with the mushrooms going around the ring. That's really cool. <laughs> Some people and their inlays. That's that's just really nice. And the vault and some chests. Cool. I like it. Hexy. Oh, I see there's a bunch of pillows around here. That's neat. That creates a really nice effect. Where can I take a good picture of this? Maybe somewhere up here? No. You know, something like Something like this will work. Fantastic. Yeah. Good stuff. Chip GM, hey, how's it going? So, is there anywhere on confidence near the spires that anybody knows of a particularly awesome build? Because if so, I will definitely go there. I've got maybe one more perspective uh, location, one or two here, and then I'll uh, move it along to the next one. Hmm. I haven't seen anybody. Storm drops, huh? No, 
I don't really see an entrance. Nope. Nothing. Moving on. Actually, at Legendary Neuro. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Thank you. There we go. get my dirt later. <laughs> Vulcan. Have I been calling it confidence this whole time? doing its thing. Let's take a look around. Oh, oh well. <laughs> What is there actually to this place? It looks like mostly just the exterior, which is nice. And these spots here. Thanks, Chip GM. I appreciate it. Hmm. This will be neat when they uh, continue building this up. I like it. one I think I'm going to check is over here. Hmm. What should we expect to see? Looks like a castle. I see some arches over here. Ooh, this could be quite nice. Ah, I like that can connect over to another structure later on. The flies coming from those lights being on. Hmm. To 
tools in the courtyard. A strip of diamond there. I think it might be more uh, exterior complete at this point. Ugh. Uh, that's a nice use of those. The uh, obsidian floor tiles. Ladder. You guys, if you don't have a grappling hook or some way to get up here, uh, whatever. And eventually, I'm sure we'll get ladders and ladder animations and that sort of stuff. Hmm. Again, something built to bridge over to another part. Simply not finished. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, Chip, that's exactly how I'm doing it. Might as well use the in-game system, right? That's what it's there for. Hey, uh, Tobes, how you doing? Alright, so that's about all there is by the spire here. Looks like it succeeded. Um, Chip, you do have to link up your Twitter account in-game. Uh, it doesn't take very long. Alright, so, once again, give me requests, folks. Confidence Cove. Confidence Outwash. Confidence. Delta, you got it. Uh, Chip GM, will you be doing that um, next week as well? Because if that's the case, then I'll make determination the next destination. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, in-game Twitter feature is the last thing I saw you say, Tobes. So, it's possible. Does anybody know if Omid is still going? Ooh! Cute little castle. Awesome, Chip GM. Then definitely next week we will uh, we will do the tour. Hmm. Okay, well I'm gonna go on up. That's nice. Good use of the um, circles and rounding. Whoops. Some uh, windows. Hmm. What about this house here? This is uh, just a crafting house. Yeah. Ooh, I like that though. See that that's more believable as a roof because the um, the tiles aren't just um, sticking through. I like that. Of course, then there's this one that does not do that. But whatever. It's something I'm sure people will uh, do a little bit more about as the game goes on. Still, though, what a really nice, just the layout and the, uh, uh, the use of, uh, the use of stone here is fairly nice. I like it. Ah, uh, yes, Cadaveri, I definitely agree with you. So I'll take the screenshot and then come back in to get the proper spellings. And we're on Delta now. Uh, Pally man, I actually manually drag the um, the edges of the window, and when you're doing that, oops. Uh, here, I'll explain real quick, and then I'll go back and take that screenshot again. Basically, what you want to do, um, you can't set this resolution, but if you drag the edges of the window, you'll resize the screen. It won't update immediately. You have to click an if another tab and click back, and then it'll show you the resolution you've scaled it down to. That's the only way you can get 1280 by 800 is it basically as a custom uh, resolution by dragging it. There might be something in the user, any file, or uh, somewhere else that can actually configure that. Um, that's just the simplest way I've found. You know what? I think I can just get myself a little bit of height here. Are you freaking kidding me. Or am I out of dirt now? That's weird. Just a little bit of height.
Okie dokie. This looks like an outdoor lab. Wow, what the heck just happened? I've seen some of these things around. I really like these rings. I gotta get a set. I've seen a lot of these things around. I like these barnyard animals here. I like how the blue goes through the floor there. Be really expensive to use those as floor lights, but if we could just get that particle effect on a different prop, that'd be lovely. Thank you for the follow. Okay, moving on then. Or was there more to see there? No, I think that was it. Alright, once over this way. It's a dirt farm with tools. Dirt farm with tools. Dirt farm with tools. Moving on. Don John's entrance. Sure is. Oh, that's great, Don John. Ah, I'm close enough. I'll check this one up in the hills. Maybe it's awesome. Thanks, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Either it's a work in progress or this is just how it's going to be left. I hope it's just a work in progress. Can't really see anything impressive from here over there, so. Alright, taking requests for the um for the next one. I'm pretty sure we're more or less done here. Name an island. Pick an island. That's the island I'll be going to. Oh, and I'm doing something extra special for giveaways this time. This time, um, I'm going to be raffling off future giveaways for the feather in a bottle that will be um, coming next month. Now, I don't know how many or how quickly I'll be getting uh, access to the uh, giveaway codes. Uh, it's a dirt farm. Actually, it's a crap shack. Um, 
I don't know how how readily I'll be getting them, but they um, they will come through at some point. So I'm only doing um, basically one every two hours for all of my shows uh, until they're available. Levy, Chevy to the Levy. Confidence Lagoon. I'm going to do Lagoon first and then I'll check Levy. And thanks for spotting in game. I really appreciate that. Uh, Mr. Pound Sign, I I would almost say it's um, contingent on how well the Steam Box does. If it really picks up and Steam Box, um, you know, Linux is something that is uh, seen as a viable uh, distribution platform for the game, then yeah, totally expect them to do a Linux version. But for the here and now, I think they're just focusing on Windows. Hmm. Did I toggle off my compass somehow? That's funny. Um, does anybody know what the toggle compass button is? Because mine's missing. I don't like that. That's really awesome sculpture up there. Damn, this is really nice. Hey, a Tolmart. Uh, my chat window wouldn't occlude it because um, the chat window is, uh, you know, translucent. So this is like a a space Greek planetarium or something. shot of it though no because I want to get it from high up enough that I can see the um, yeah the statue on top Checkbox under game settings. Cool. I'll check that in a moment. Distemper. That is a pretty impressive build. I 
So what else is here? Is this just experimentation space? <laughs> starting to get a little choppy. Yeah, I guess it's a resolution thing. Oh well. Brunamar's claim saying it sucks, I know. Nah. I kind of like some of the layout going on here. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't suck. It's not a crap shack. I will give them that. There's actually something with some amount of effort and planning that's gone into it. Not really worthy of a screenshot necessarily, but definitely not a crap shack. Check this one out this way. Hmm, that looks like a giant outdoor laboratory. getting choppy okay after this island I'm gonna have to restart the game <laughs> Wikifan it's kind of nice with the uh, the plants outside there and the hanging torches nice little fireplace there the treasure chest on the side too pretty fancy Rebellion held up. Oh, I'll check that out in my own personal time. I'll write that one down. Where am I writing stuff down these days? Okie dokie. I really like this pattern here. The uh, the way the uh, actual uh, material pattern itself um, kind of gets cut by the um, the polished marble there. It creates a really nice effect. Or at least a very striking one. Okie dokie. And there's just that one last one over by the uh, by the spire. I'll go check out. If it appears to you that the game is freaking out, don't worry. It's a closed beta.
Well, to start. And their tools. It's like a ghost claim out there. I bet that's gonna draw away when I get close. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna head to Levy and then I'm gonna restart the game if it doesn't already crash on its own. Uh, Asfix, my character's name is Neurotoxin, N-E-U-R-O-T-O-X-I-N. I haven't been Lennon Luther for weeks. Though, oddly enough, I still have a uh, reservation of that name on my account, so I can't use it on an alt, which is fine, because instead... I have an alt whose name you probably won't know. Outwash. Cool. Outwash is next. Like I said, the game was lagging. So, I'm going to accept this friend invite and then close the game and restart it. It's taking a moment here to close, so I'm going to start up the task manager. I should reserve Neuro, though. That's a good idea. Neuro, Neurotoxin, Legendary Neurotoxin. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I went to the wrong server, didn't I? I did. Force of habit. I forget that the um, the login page doesn't actually go to the last server where you were. It takes you to um, where you last logged into. Confident. Levy. <laughs> you reserve them by um, uh, ma finding seven day keys or um, using permanent keys and creating an alt with that name and then just parking it. Take what you need, leave what you want, don't leave stone tools, for fuck's sake. Refining, crafting, okay, so they do have the refining stuff private. I just wonder, oh, okay, so they got some old school stuff up in here, that's funny. wonder if they've got a better axe. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so there's not only the items that they've got here, which is nice, which is really nice. Oh, what's your name? 
Shuck lighter. Yeah, eventually on shoe. They uh they still need to figure out what they're gonna do for that. I like those columns. Those are really nice. So... Aren't you? Have you been to my shows here before? I, uh, I don't know if I've seen you say anything before, but I don't also know if you've been a lurker in the past. Yes, yes, it's a tall build. And you see way, way, way off in the distance from here. Pretty cool. Dianess. <laughs> I got you on you. Cool. How are you liking Wildstar? Oops. I guess I could get this one from a little lower down. Yeah, I might as well just go from down here. <laughs> Port of R. See you later, Chip GM. Thanks for coming through. Definitely heading over to Determination next week. I really want to have your um, uh, your swap meet featured. <laughs> Interesting. So that's where all the ruby went. No, I'll be honest, that's maybe enough ruby to get one uh one item all the way up to legendary. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of depressing if you think about it. It's a lot of material. <coughs> I 
around here. Maybe not that much. Maybe like one wall. But still. <laughs> Go back to landmark, don't you? Are you, uh, have you been, uh, playing the beta here, or were you looking at, um, like just getting in and had a seven day key or what's up <clears throat> uh, yeah pyramids are tough to craft I uh, I've got first-hand uh, experience with that recently nice unified look on the inside here Rubies aren't really that hard to find. I found that all the top tier materials are things that I need though. So if I'm just going for everything and, you know, just hunt for red in particular when I see it around, it really makes it a lot easier and I'm of course getting a lot of the other stuff that I need in the process. Hey, more ruby. Now look at that. More ruby. Well, look at that. And they've done something to try to make the uh, the ugly rough cut walls look like something nice and pretty, which is nice. I like that. Brandilla. Oh, that's really cool, aren't you? Oh, Ramai, that's funny. Yeah, basically. Hmm. Well, it's not too far away. I'm going to check out this larger build up here. Aren't you, have any of your um, previous demos or tutorials been rendered obsolete by the um, when the new smoothing tool came through, or uh, are they still pretty much valid the same way? Because that, that change in smoothing tools just been, it was a real big deal. Go ahead and link it, aren't you? Hmm. It's interesting. I'll give me your money. What this building really makes me think of is something that you'd see on like a um, like a bomb test site um, or something like that where it's just something that needs to look enough like a house and take damage enough like a house to uh, make sure that your um, your ordinance is doing what it's supposed to when it gets there. Hey, it's a black mage. Hey, buddy, I'm a black mage. I'm from Final Fantasy One. Nice. 
imposing looking gate But it's got a door through it. <laughs> Those hazard bars, that's really funny. You may not bring your vehicle through here. Oh. I do like the gate. Olav. it from the other side. <laughs> Hopefully they'll get the um, the functionality of the original smooth, smooth tool back in, like they were saying. <laughs> that was a fellow I was doing some PvP with uh, a few days ago, and it's actually really funny because a bunch of the devs popped in. Uh, Felgon was in there, Pentapod was in there, uh, Omid was in there, a um, bunch of people, uh, a couple other people I think too, and it was basically this voxel PvP where you're either trying to put a cage around the other player which you would copy the same cage and be kind of battling in this arena or you would try to encapsulate them with blocks and if either you trap them with blocks and that's a win or if you push them through the bottom of the floor three times it's also a win and uh... it was uh... Branksy, b r a n x y was over on a euro server uh, i can't remember which one uh... who's got the setup and uh, D-Man, uh, I think he was in chat here earlier, his character Clarity uh, was also there. We did we did three matches and I suppose because I was undefeated that makes me the uh, uh, the, be the best PvP player in all of Landmark right now. <laughs> Not really seeing too much here. I like the angle build here. Um, eh. Moving on. There's that one build that I really wanted to see over here. Oh, there's my compass. Hmm. 
Add what banner to my claim? PvP or in landmark. Yeah, I guess I should put that on my claim. I think that goes more on my resume when I apply to SOE next time. Hmm. It's really fancy. I see what they mean about a labyrinth. Oh, that's cute. So, creatures get released from there, and you've got to kind of find your way around before they get to you. There's some pit traps. And neat. I like the idea of this. It's like a little battle arena sort of thing. They might even build it up a little further. <clears throat> or keep it low and have the rolls no jumping. Yeah, that PvP is a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks, Nightbot. So is there a good place to take a screenshot of this from? The Labyrinth Coliseum. I know one of those is too many letters. Colosseum. Wait. Is that right? Colosseum. Yeah, I think that's how it's spelled. I haven't spelled Colosseum in a while. Damn spell check making me not spell things well anymore. And I really like how this build looks from the map too. More improvement, more arenas, yeah. It's pretty cool though. I really like it. <clears throat> Allegedly there's a claim, but all I see is... Crap Shack. Coliseum. Yeah. Okay.
Outwash. So in about uh, 20 minutes or so, I'll probably do a little bit of a break here for um, the first giveaway, and um, and then I'm also probably gonna get a little bit more water and maybe some cashews or something delicious, and then I'll be back for more touring. That's all right, Cody. Yeah, I wasn't sure if Alt F4 was automatically uh, banning me or not, but that most definitely is how you close uh, a program, is uh, Alt F4. So, uh, yeah, don't do it unless you're trying to uh, close something. <laughs> I kind of like those stairs though. The stairs and how the wall is done with that kind of waviness to it. It's neat. Goblin stronghold, huh? Is this what a goblin stronghold looks like? I like these windy tunnels though. That's really cool. Seems more like an ant than a goblin, but, uh, okay. Ah, oh, damn. So, I, was, I mean, I was trying to do some sort of kind of experimental architecture, but I guess I just didn't quite get the scale right. This is, this is kind of the stuff that I guess I was playing with a little bit in alpha myself, but it seems they've made some really nice designs here. I really like how they've done this. The whole layout and everything is great. Oh, that's funny, Cody. David Bowes Goblin City? Does he mean David Bowie's? This is Goblin City. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, Skomag, I'm pretty sure that's what they meant.
And some pretty cool stuff around here. The hell is that, Cody? I'm sure it's Rick Astley. I'm pretty sure I've seen that URL before. Sango, how you doing? I like the uh, inlay here. Thank you, Toko Bowl. Hmm. I've seen some really nice treehouse, treetop sort of claims. This is one of one of the many. I really like it. Adam Twelve, how you doing? Yes, Ango. Anybody who's on my um any of my shows gets mod status. And if they abuse it, I take it away. But that has not been a problem yet. Hey, landmark logo. Okay, well that's what there is to see. Oh, uh, what's going to be a nice shot to take here? Magnumos. Seriously. Hey Sango, uh, you live stream, don't you? Thanks, Asfix. Ah, uh, I get ya.
don't see any entrance. Crab Shack. So I haven't really been watching in game chat. Okay. So does anybody have a recommendation for where to go after Outwash here? As unfortunately, other than a few places, outwash has been kind of an outwash. Um, not doing liberation today. Just keeping it to uh, confidence. Yeah, Blurry and I have. It's pretty awesome. Kettle? Okay, I'll give Kettle a try. Okay, I'll do pit next. Okay. Okay. Yeah, on you, that's how I'm doing it. Uh, I started it that way last week and it seemed pretty successful, so I uh, started doing it kind of as the regular method here. So I'm going to do a giveaway here. Now, normally I have the giveaway item that I'm going to do for the giveaway handy. Um, things are going to be a little different this time, however, and the reason being is that I'm actually going to be preemptively guaranteeing a uh, feather in a bottle as I am an insider in the insiders program I can actually I know that I'm going to be getting some of those codes at some point and I'm sure I'll get more and more of them as more people um, buy landmark using my um, uh, promotional code uh, N-E-U-R-O-T-0-0 or use the the link down below on my page so I know I'll get the codes that's I'm totally not worried about that so even though I don't have them there's going to be two feather and a bottles that some lucky winners are gonna get today 
and I'm gonna start a, uh, a little thing here with Nightbot so that way uh, we can see who the first winner is No idea. See, Nick, I have no clue. I will have this one recommendation, though. If Nightbot catches that you're not following, you definitely don't get to win, even if the number comes up for you. So, or that you uh, you win the thing. So, the fairest chance is a random number. I've done various methods in the past, and this is thanks for the follow. This seems like it's the easiest way. So, let's begin. I've seen a lot of people use a lot of strategies. People starting from the bottom counting up by one. Starting from the top and counting down by one. Starting from the middle from 50 and going up or down from there. So, you know, do it folks. Someone will get it, I'm sure. There's only a hundred numbers. <laughs> And I'm just going to be watching chat here in case I miss, or in case uh, Nightbot misses it. Day stars. Let me see where I got you there. Yep. Day stars, you are the one. You are the winner. Okay. <laughs> okay. And that number was uh 92 by the way. So, mine seem to be really high most of the time, so definitely start from 100 whenever I do one of these rolls cuz my night bot has a pattern to it. All right. Now, I don't just mean break time as in I'm giving away a key. I'm also going to go AFK for a couple of minutes here, grab some water, grab a couple of munchies. I'll be back here in a couple of minutes and then we will continue the tours here. Until then, I'm going to mute my mic so you don't hear me getting up here.
You all missed out on a perfect opportunity to dance bomb the stream. Hmm. Let's see. Oxbow has a giant mailbox. Okie dokie. That sounds interesting. I'll get it on the list. Confidence Kettle. Yeah, there better be something a brewin. Wraths is a Haunted by microvoxels, that's awesome. With great microvoxel comes great responsibility. Oh, I see, those are uh, angled stairs. Nice. One of those should be green, though, I think. Oh. That's kind of cool. Oh, I still have break time up. Duh. 